Hey folks, today I'm going to be bleeding the brakes on my 2015 Street Glide Special. You may have seen the previous video where I've changed the brake pads. I'll leave a link at the end of this video for that, so I recommend you checking it out. So let's go ahead and prep the bike and we'll get started. All right, so I already got the prep work done. You know, a little shop towel, some painter's tape. I've covered up the tank as well as the, I have fairings and then my front fender. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. I've already unscrewed it. And just try to make sure you don't get the brake fluid anywhere. And we'll set that to, to the side and we'll clean that up later. That brake fluid is turned into a tannish color. That's usually a telltale sign but I have a little tool here, test the moisture, and as you can see, it's over 4%. I'll put a link in the description for this tool. Uh, it's also in the link in the description of when I changed my brake pads. I'm gonna be using Amsoil's brake fluid, dot three and four. Uh, use ever which you prefer. This is what I like to use, and as I'm pumping out the brake fluid down at the brake bleeder near the caliber, uh, I'm going to fill this up and then take more out. This will be a lot easier if you have a second person to pour in the brake fluid, um, but basically I'm just recycling. I want to do that on both sides. So I know how well you can see that, but here is your brake bleeder valve. I'm going to take this dust cover off. That it is. So now I'm using a 3 8 flare nut. Here is the uh, Mighty Vac hand pump brake bleeder that I'm using. I got this at Harbor Freight. I'm pretty sure you can get it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. So what I like to do is pump this up to about 10 pounds of pressure. You can always leave little stuff out here's a little trigger and then I'll turn the valve. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And you can see some of it coming through there. But I have to keep an eye on the master cylinder since I am the only one doing this. I don't have anybody to pour in in the uh, the brake fluid. So as you can see it has went down some. It was up here at that line, that fill line, but it has come down some. So I just want to show you exactly what I'm doing. And then you want to pour in a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So this is a freshly opened up brake fluid. So I'm going to bleed some more out and we'll just keep filling. Like I said, recycle. I got quite a bit of brake fluid circulating through the brake lines and you can see the difference here uh this, yeah, this is more of a brownish look this is more of a cleaner look i don't know how well you can see that i'll show a before and after from the master cylinder as well you probably see it better that way but again pump some out add more to the master master cylinder and just recycling it out i'll do this on the other side the right side because there is still um, old brake fluid in the brake lines on the other side, so you won't have to do it as much. So as you can see, the coloration in the brake fluid is much, much better. So I'm gonna go ahead and test it out. It's showing 0% moisture. That's good. Now on to the rear. So before you, uh, Put the cap back on. You want to clean this diaphragm out. That way it gets out of the, or gets all the uh, old brake fluid out, cleans it out real well. Let that dry. You know, and just check it for if there's any issues. This one looks pretty darn good. So, we'll, uh, like I said, we'll let that dry and we'll put it back on. Last but not least, you want to check and make sure you got brake pressure yep 
good to go. So I've taken off the rear master cylinder cap. And again, you can see how amberish yellowish that uh, brake fluid is. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the brake bleeder to the rear. So as you can see, I got the rear brake bleeder valve hooked up here. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the valve. So I used a small funnel to get the brake fluid down into the rear master cylinder. That really helps me out a lot, but you can use whatever you want to use. I don't know how well you can see in there, but it's showing 0% uh, there too. So good to go. All right, I got the cap back on. Test the brake pads. Yeah, plenty of pressure. All right, that completes the brake bleed for the 2015 Street Glide Special. This does have ABS. I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And always, rip the ride. See ya.